Welcome back for another video. So my wife and I went to Walgreens the other day and I picked up two of these. Now I've opened these before, but today I wanna figure out if it was worth buying because I believe they were like 12, $13 maybe. I'll definitely be sure to have the price pop up, but I bought two and these aren't packaged by the Pokemon company. They're from a third party company. So we're gonna see if they were worth it, but I've also got some other Sword and Shield era packs, but I say, let's get into it. Let's see if these are worth it. But first subscribe and click the bell to never miss a video. Let's get into it. So again, I do have two of these. And as you can see, this one has evolving skies. It has brilliant stars, lost origins, astral radiance. This one has brilliant stars, lost origins, Pokemon Go. And it looks like it's one of those brilliant stars, like fun packs or whatever they're called. And then obviously we've got some other goodies right here that we will also get into. But I want to know if these are worth it. So we're actually going to start off with the single packs that I've got. But I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a good day today. And most importantly, I hope you're just having fun. And I hope you're happy. I hope you're having fun and being happy. You know, that's the most important thing. Here's a code card for you. If you want that, we're going to go four to the front. Uh, fire. Ooh, fire. We got it. We got it. Ice scan, Dottler, Panic Mask, Rhyhorn, Horsey, Murkrow, Mawile, Shellos, Hunter, and a Banette non hollow for the rare. It is very weird going back to Sword and Shield era packs after opening so many Scarlet and Violet and Paldea Evolved. And I've said it before in other videos. There's a code card for you. Um, I've said it before in other videos, I do prefer the silver border over the yellow. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you like the silver or do you prefer the yellow? I really like the silver. Um, okay, Chin Chow and an Ursa Luna V. Look at that, we got a V. I will take it. All right, let's sleeve this one up. We'll put that one right there. Sword and Shield base set. I believe this is my last pack of Sword and Shield base set. So that is exciting. Let's see if we can get into it. Here's a code card for you. One, two, three, four to the front. Let's go water this time. We got fire again. Drizzle, heat more, energy retrieval. Mincino, where's my cappuccino? Galarian Ponyta, Salandent, Ball Toy, Cufant, Ghastly, and a Turtonator non hollow. Look at that. We are on to Darkness Ablaze. Could we possibly pull the Charizard V Max? I believe that's like the best card in this set. Um, and I've actually pulled it like two times, I believe. So let's see if we can pull it again. There is the code card for you. Four to the front. Let's go dark energy this time. We got water. Powerful energy. Toxapex, Simisage, Marlow, Wishy Washy, Cufant, Dino, Panseer, Volcarona. Oh, we did actually pull something. We got Volcarona and Salamence V. Let's go. Salamence is honestly in my top 10 of favorite Pokemon, and this card looks amazing. I don't think I've pulled this. Let's go, look at that. I am so excited about that one. Whoo! All right, let's get into, I'm gonna save this one for last. Um, again, this was like 13 or $14, and if you look here, it says distributed by the Fairfield company. So it was purchased from a secondary market and repackaged for retail. So it wasn't packaged by the Pokemon company. So we, ooh, look at that Greninja though. 
Look at that Greninja from Celebrations. Look at that. That's the one card that you get, which I do have a ton of these, which this is very cool. Look at that. It's a gold star Greninja. We're going to open these as they came. Brilliant stars. And I'm assuming with these, they probably like weighed them. And if there were like heavy packs or anything, they probably didn't put them in this bundle. I don't know exactly how it works. That's just what I'm assuming. So I don't know if we even get anything out of these products, but we're going to see Grimer, Shinx, Badoof, Ultra Ball, and a non hollow Drudagon. Non hollow Drudagon. We've got Lost Origins. It's been a minute since I've opened this. I actually just bought some uh, Lost Origins because GameStop had their buy two, get one free sale on Pokemon card packs. So I went and bought some Scarlet and Violet, some Powdea Evolved, and then I grabbed, uh, I think Silver Tempest and Lost Origins. Had to re-up on some packs. Here we go. We got Spectreer and a Banette non hollow So I wonder if we will get any hits from these. That's what I'm curious about. It's also been a minute since I've opened Pokemon Go. I would love to get a Ditto card just so I could keep it unpeeled because I've pulled a few Dittos and I've always peeled them. So I'm hoping I could get another one and I just won't peel it. Unpheasant. Rare Candy, Camerupt, Padove, Onyx, Eevee, Charmander, Apom, Steelix, and a Melmetal Hollow. You are guaranteed a Hollow in every set from Pokemon Go. We'll go ahead and set these off to the side. And let's get into this Brilliant Stars Fun Pack. I remember opening one of the fun packs from like the holiday calendar. I don't know if there's a code card. Oh, there is there. What the heck is this? What in the world is this? There's that. I'm not sure what it is. Secrets of the jungle now streaming on Netflix. Okay. We're just gonna set that down there. And we've got purloin dust Skull, and a heat ran for the reverse so nothing too good in that one obviously and again let's see what we can get in this one and i'm gonna try i wonder if the one card in the front is the same in all of them i wonder if this one is also a greninja oh no it's not it's a reverse bear scooter i almost would have rather had the greninja we will set that there this one came with Evolving Skies and Brilliant Stars, and I've said it before in previous videos, Brilliant Stars is my favorite Sword and Shield set. So we're gonna see if we can get anything out of these. I don't think we will, to be honest. I bought these so you guys didn't have to, but honestly, if you enjoy these kind of like mystery products, Go ahead and buy them. They were, like I said, $13, $14 or something like that. We got Lady, Lampet, Shellos, Hasuian Growlithe going in the Growlithe pile. We got Ducklet. There's a Rock Ruff. You know what that means. <coughs> rock Ruff! I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Hasuian Zarua and a Parasect non hollow for the rare astral radiance it's been a minute since i've opened astral radiance and if i remember correctly i actually have an astral radiance elite trainer box i need to open at some point but maybe i'll wait like a couple years and open it so you're gonna just gonna have to subscribe and wait to see that here we go unidentified fossil dartrix driftblum pursuing sneasel barboach Ooh, that mischievous is really cool Scyther, we got Eevee, do what and a shaman non hollow. I am ashamed that I bought these products. I'm just kidding, they're Pokemon cards. I'm having fun, and most importantly, I hope you're having fun. There is a code card for you. 
go ahead and scan that and let me know what you get. I don't even know if anybody really takes them for my video or not, but they're free. You can have them. No charge. Cub Choo, Da Dene, Farfetch, Piplup, and a Babero Hollow. Look at that. We actually got a hollow out of one. And we have an Evolving Skies right here. Final pack of the opening. What do you think? Were these four pack lightning packs from Walgreens worth it or are they a waste of money? Let me know down in the comments below. We got Hypno, Fletchender, Lantern, Hitmonchan, Hopip, another Hitmonchan, <laughs> Fletchling, Tentacle, Wobbuffet, and Atropius non hollow for the rare. I don't believe those were necessarily worth the money, but they were still fun to open. But with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I do upload three times a week. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So you get three videos a week for me. One, two, three, three videos a week. And I appreciate you watching please consider subscribing to the channel because I am close to 1,000 subscribers. I am almost at 700, so we're on the road to 1,000. So go ahead and subscribe. And once you click the button, it will change colors, it will twirl, it will do some spins, and you'll be in the first 1,000 and you could brag about it. You'll find somebody in the road or walking downtown or something, you'll be like, hey, I was in the first 1,000 to subscribe to Josh. So that's something you want to be able to do so you can brag about it. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good week. And keep being yourself. Keep being amazing. And keep being awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. I've never saluted before in my life, but I just did it. And now I'm just going to awkwardly end the video. Goodbye.